What do you mean YouTube is oversaturated with commentary channels? So, oh boy, do I have some tasty cringe for you guys today. And no, it is not my entire channel. And frankly, I am offended that you would say such a thing. Warning, contains medical images that some people may find upsetting. Yeah, I think, I think that goes for my channel, uh, uh, this video as well, and my channel. Yeah. I want my entire lifestyle to revolve around K-pop, and I want my entire look to look like Jimin. Well, well alright, that's, that's a little much. I understand uh, an appreciation of K-pop, but, you know, you know I'll, I'll hear him out, you know? Maybe he just, maybe he just, he just wants, he's just in it for the fashion, you know? And that's fine. I, I like, I like K-pop fashion. It's pretty neat. And the lead singer of BTS, because for me, he's perfection. I just kind of want to look like him. Well, alright. That's, that's a few red flags going off right there. I'm an understanding person. I'm fairly liberal. I'll, I'll hear him out. Nope. I want to look like a K-pop star. Who doesn't? Okay, I think everyone wants to look like a, like a pop star, like a famous person. Well, that doesn't mean you go straight yellow face. I want my entire look to look like Jimin is honestly my, my K-pop idol. Love these cringy anime poses that he's doing right now. Like, like, like I'm imagining like him recording that. And it's just like, yeah, just do, some, just do some, just do some cute stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is just like a cameraman looking at him for like three minutes as he goes through all these different poses. We need, we need enough B-roll. BTS debuted in 2013, and I was actually living in Korea at the time. So I was just amazed by all of them. They were perfect. Jimin is the lead vocalist. This is his current hairstyle at the moment. That's why I'm trying to replicate it. I mean, if, if you're gonna go for that, at least have some originality, you know? Like, if you're just gonna copy someone down to the level, you know, throw, throw some flair in there. You know, you don't gotta be like everybody else. You don't gotta be like Jimin. I wanna be him, but I also have a crush on him. Same. These are some of my shoes. These ones, they're very, very, very striking, especially with the spikes. A lot of K-pop stars wear this um, particular brand as well. Now these ones were expensive, 1,600, 650, 700. Oh God, he's a hype beast as well. Ooh. See, I was, I was, that one's all right. I was accepting at first, but when you start like naming off and you know exactly how much every item of your clothing costs. It's like the most cringy thing <laughs> you could possibly do. Like, I have no problem with expensive taste or anything. It's just like the attitude that you bring to it, you know? This one was is my most expensive clothing item, it was 7,000. It costs more than my everything that's on this desk and my computer for a jacket. It's living the dream. Now this one, I wear all the time. It's Roberto Cavalli. And Jimin actually wore this in the fake love video. So I'm super obsessed, I wear it all the time. So yeah, this is very special to me because obviously Jimin wore the same one, so. This reminds me of the beginning of the uh, the Thank You Next video by Ariana Grande, but instead of Ariana Grande, it's, it's Jimin, Jimin. Park Ji Min. I mean, the K-pop stars have so much pressure on them. Before they even become famous, they have to train for four years. Um, they live together, they have to train eight hours a day. It's all manufactured the way they look, the way they perform. They all look incredibly perfect. And when I actually watch their videos, I cry just because they're so beautiful. I mean, like, I get, I get the appreciation. Like, I like BTS a fair bit. I don't think they're not my favorite band. I don't love pop music in general, but I think as far as pop goes, BTS and other K-pop bands are, like, ahead of the curve. But, man, there's such a thing as going too far. I was always, uh, like, insecure because, to be honest, I had very bad acne when I was at school, and I had a very... My nose was very big. That's when I actually decided, look, I need to change myself now and um, you know, be a lot happier. I mean, that's good. That's, that's sort of good advice overall. But I think you should keep it within reason, you know? Like, that's just my personal take. But I think if you go too far, you eventually start going back the other way and become unhappy with yourself again for going too far. And like, you can, you can plan it out and all this stuff, but you're never really going to know what you look like until you go through with it. I had all of the fatty tissue removed from my chest, um, so you can still see I have um, the scars, and it's still very sore. So I just, I just really want to call the attention to the fact that uh, this man, this beautiful specimen, he, uh, he had breast reduction surgery. I'm not judging. 
Um, I've also had a blepharoplasty, which basically was work on my eyelids for rhinoplasties, um, angle reduction, which is basically a jawline surgery. I also have a silicone chin implant here. Oh, it's just kind of uncomfortable to think about, just to like have something under your skin there. You had four rhinoplasties. See, like he wasn't even happy with it, like the first, second, and third times. And it sort of shows how um, unreliable plastic surgery can be. <laughs> like I don't have any moral objections to plastic surgery or anything. It's just a bit uncomfortable for me to think about. So yeah, probably about 75k in total just on the procedures. Bitch! <laughs> That's so much money. That is, you could buy a car with that. I mean, not a super nice car, but a decent, you know, like a, a, a little banger, a little, a little banger. You could get a, a BMW Series 2. Or you could buy a customized Apple Watch, apparently. Jesus Christ. Think about what I could do with that. Nothing productive, nothing good. <laughs> Yeah. Man. They cut that off too soon. I love how he still walks, you know, pretty much like a dude bro. Like a, like an average college dude bro. Super white. Because remember I showed you two mm -hmm. different guys that said they need to look like this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. I like the yeah. shape of his mm -hmm. face and also the eyes as well. Why is his, why is his face blurred? Is a picture of his face copyrighted? I'm, I'm curious about that. Barcroft TV, please, please reach out to me and tell me why you blurred this man's face because I don't, I don't understand. Jimin's face is beautiful. I want to look at it, okay? Please give me the reprieve of Jimin's beautiful face from this video. <laughs> because he's a Korean yeah. a star, it's much more rounded than Caucasians' yes. faces in general. Yeah. There's more fat, t-shirt. Yeah, is there any way you could make my eyes look more like that kind of shape right now? Yeah. <laughs> Is that racist? See, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like fully drawing a line there, but I'm kind of starting to, like with the stick, you know. I'm sort of like, putting, putting a line in the sand between, you know, doing your thing and and being in yellow face. It is a treacherous line to tread, to say the least. One possibility. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you got that one there. <laughs> I love this doctor guy. He's just so like, <laughs> look, at the, look at those eyebrows. He is just not sure about this whole thing, <laughs> but he's he's doing it. He's doing his job, you know. <laughs> oh, this yeah, this is um, this is actually the guy. Just yes, so you can see the the face shape. I just kind of want to um, look like him. Oh, but you're not gonna blur that. You're not gonna blur that monstrosity. Did he? He like cut out one of his eyes. Why? <laughs> Why did he do that? That's so creepy. He looks like a freaking Saw villain. Was that was that for copyright? Is that like a, an equivalent to a blur? If you can't blur, you know, the next best thing is to just punch the eye out. It's a uh, fair use. It's transformative in nature. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh. One of the dangers here is... Yeah. You don't know what you're doing, you can make people blind. Yeah. Really? From this procedure? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that a threat, doctor? Oh, dang. See, he lures you in with all that charm and the, the, eye, the eyebrow movement, and then, he, and then he threatens to stab your eyes out. There's no going back from that. You've given me the the eyes. That is incredible. So that's the way you wanted, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Just check. I can't can't move my face much to smile right now, but I'm very happy inside. <laughs> I have no mouth, but I must scream. Like this. Bless you. <laughs> Thank God I said to Dr. Diddar, you're the best. Thank you. He is the best. I. You know, I did have a thing for Jimin before this video, but I think I'm I think I'm developing a little something something for for Dr. Diddar over here. You know, might have to get plastic surgery to look like that. <laughs> I want to look like a K-pop star and they happen to be Korean. I just find them incredibly beautiful. I actually look Korean now. Mm, don't say it. Uh. 
Give yourself some plausible deniability, my man. Learn some PR, you know? This guy was clearly not a communications major, and with the cost of his wardrobe, you know, wasn't really the first sign that he might not be a communications major. <laughs> Well, I'm not exactly changing my race. Like, I, I'm not saying that I want to be Asian as such. I'm always going to be, you know, British, Caucasian. Oh my God, it's self-aware. Ah! But I would like to look as close as possible to Koreans, like Korean pop stars and uh, Jimin. He's got to mention Jimin in there, you know. That adds an extra little level of, of oddity because he, he, he doesn't just want to look like, you know, any of, the, any of the BTS boys with their lovely smiles. It's just Jimin. Once again, that, uh, that, that, that feet out duck walk he's got, it's not very K-pop. If, if, if I had to make an analysis of it, I, I don't think that's how they walk. You know, I'm seeing a li I'm seeing a little, a little Macaulay Culkin, you know? A, a little Scarecrow from Batman, you know? A, a little Jim Sturgis from Cloud Atlas, and, uh, just a, just a touch of Michael Jackson. And none of those guys are Korean! I'm not seeing Jimin here, I have to say. So I guess that means he's in the clear. It's not racist. We, we've solved it. It's just, uh, disturbing. So what do you guys think of the new look then? It's obviously very different. Like, what do you think? The eyes are, it is taking me a little bit of time to adjust to actually because, yeah, it's... Translation. It looks f***ing hideous. I, I don't ever want to picture you like this and pop star, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. You're upset. A little bit because I really. You're upset as well. Yeah. I really like, just don't want you to get to a point where you can't undo anything. I mean. See, I like her. She's she's got the. She's, she's she's a smart girl. She's over here doing my job for me, being the voice of reason. Except that this isn't my job, and I'm doing this for free. We do support you, but of course we just concerned we do want the best for you. And Thank you, Kofi. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna get addicted. My man, my man, Ollie. If you don't want to get, if you don't want to get addicted, I, I got, I got some bad news for you. Mm. Um. I think we're past that. I think we're past that, Ollie. Yeah. Do you think I'm addicted? Yes. His friends just have no chill. They're just so, like, they're so honest. I wish my friends were this honest sometimes. Yeah, your let's play it. It, it sucks. Quit YouTube. It's just I want the perfect face, you know. I don't think it's an addiction. I just think it's a. Uh, I have a strong interest in pursuing my nice. my goal. Over and over again, and uh, it's never going to be enough. I'm gonna put tons, seventy five thousand dollars specifically, and I also I'll, I want more. <laughs> but I'm not addicted. They don't. I've they never don't do heard it. of anyone doing this, eyes. Really? It's a very common thing in uh, Korea. Yeah in, yeah, in Korea, where they're already Korean. I, know I don't actually... want you to start looking I know. to, to yeah. Kendall. That's... She's worried about him looking to Kendall, you know, when really she should be worried about him looking too much like the landlord in Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's not my goal. I want to look Korean. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> prove, prove my point. Uh, his friend's a hype beast too. He's got that Gucci shirt on. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, really, what's the difference between them? You know. So I need to find a really unusual piece. Like all of these are very, very, very Jimin. That's very cool. Oh, that's very, that's very Jimin. Yeah. I, lo I love the idea of using someone's name as an adjective. Like from now on, instead of saying cool or awesome or whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start using that now. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's Jimin as fuck, boy. Oh, new shirt. Yeah. That's Jimin. Yeah, that's Jimin. That's Jimin. It's all right. Oh, dude, you get a new haircut? Yeah, that's Jimin. I'm into that. That's very Jimin. Yeah, that's very, very Jimin. The bowl cut, you know, yeah. Split. Split down the middle. Yeah, that's very Jimin. L let me know about my accent game. Oh, that's, a, that's a cool shirt, I guess. Mm. All right, I don't want to... I don't want to make this a fashion channel, but, like, it's too busy, you know? There's too much. Like, he's got the shirt on with the tassels and the skull and stuff and that's that's a pretty that's a pretty that's sort of like the centerpiece of this fit and really you want that to be the most bold thing going on but these pants and that the, the, the he's got the shoes on with the spikes on them or whatever and like they're super baggy and like the shirt's super baggy and it's just 
everything is kind of clashing and competing for your attention. Like, look at some of these things that Jimin actually wears. Like, yeah, there's some, like, busy stuff going on, but everything's coordinated. And if he's wearing a baggy shirt, like, it's really tight, tight jeans and, and you know, like, form-fitting boots or something. This just looks like he grabbed off the rack and just started putting it on haphazardly probably based on price if, if we're going on his uh, his little wardrobe tour at the beginning hype beast man do you think i look a little bit you think i look like jimin a little bit like oh this is great <laughs> they just stop some random asian guy on the street and then just ask him like do you know do you know do you know who Jibin is, by, by any chance? Korean man? I love how he just looks so, like, pained and confused on his face. Like, he's just... He just doesn't know what the heck is going on, man. Like, oh, yeah, I think so. Your makeup is more... Uh, like, I think it's a little over. Throwing shade. Oh, he's not too happy about that one. He's gonna go, he's gonna go home and cry himself to sleep that he didn't get approval from a... from a... from a, from a Korean. A, a fellow Korean in his mind. Oh, maybe too much makeup yeah, too much for Jimin. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I agree. When he smiles, it's just so much worse. <laughs> Especially like right next to a to a to an actual Korean. He looks like an alien, dude. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I want again a revision rhinoplasty. And he wants more. Oh, and the next thing. Oh, you've already had four of those, guy. You, you weren't happy with the first, second, and third rhinoplasties? Fourth rhinoplasty? You need to get a fifth one? To make my nose uh, a lot smaller, a lot narrower. Bitch! You wanna make it smaller? Do you want to be able to smell? Like, like at this point, you're, you're, you're probably going more for like a Patrick Star kind of look than, than you're going for a Jimin. It's just absurd. It reminds me of like a, a comedy skit on like on like Comedy Central or, or SNL or something where they're just making fun of plastic surgery by comparing it to yellow face. It's not something that should happen in real life. <laughs> um, I want to get a lateral canthoplasty. It's cutting incisions here and kind of um, cutting the skin out and then moving it across just to make the eyes more of an almond shape. Can you just leave the eyes alone? Can you just can you just focus on like honing your honing your wardrobe instead of just spending loads of money? Why don't you just like think about it for a while and and polish up your look? You know, learn to dance, get take take up lessons, pick up a hobby, just anything except for surgically making yourself a Korean man. <laughs> I don't want to look like a normal person. Mission accomplished, sir. And I want to look like a kind of superhuman. Uh, I wouldn't say he's a superhuman. I'd say he looks more like an alien. I've already made the Macaulay Culkin joke. I don't remember. So that's all for today's video. I had an adequate time making that, and I hope it was it was kind of horrible, but kind of entertaining at the same time. I hope you guys were just fully entertained. Please like and subscribe. My my children are dying.